Hey, what's good, champions? Arian Tyson here. I wanted to shoot this video because I want to encourage you on today, and I also want to give you something to think about on today. And I want you to think about all of the character building lessons that you've learned over your life. I want, I want you to think about all of the hard times that you had in your life. All of the circumstances that you never thought you would find yourself in. And I want to encourage you by reminding you that you need to be thankful for the harsh less lessons. You need to be thankful for the harsh lessons. Those harsh lessons have made you stronger. When you have poured yourself or giving of yourself to people and it has not been reciprocated, it has helped you become as strong as you are now. When you have given your all to someone and they turn their back on you, even for reasons that you may never know, it has helped you become as strong as you are now. So it's easy to be thankful for the things that go good. But if you remove anything that's happened, good, bad, or otherwise, your story is different than what it is right now. And you may not have gone to the place or gotten to the place that you are right now. Because you're not the same person that you were five years ago you're not even the same person that you were five days ago and so I want to share with you why you need to be thankful for the harsh times because even as I've looked over my life even as I take time to reflect on the things that have happened things that have inexplicably 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 happened for reasons that I will never understand and may never know the reason why I realized that sometimes life will undoubtedly test you life will test you but we need to remember something and I'm often reminded of this whenever I go to the gym and whenever I get on an elliptical machine on a treadmill, and especially on a stair climber. A stair climber reminds me of a mountain. And as you climb a mountain, your legs get stronger. As you continue to move forward in life and you encounter your storms, when you have the ability to go through the storms, you come out of those storms stronger. It's easy to be thankful for the good times. It's difficult to be thankful for the harsh times, but you have to be thankful for the harsh times. And then not only that, we have to let go of this illusion that there's a such thing as a perfect relationship because we shouldn't desire a perfect relationship because you're really two imperfect people coming together. So how can a perfect relationship come out of that? It cannot come out of that. But one thing that I do know is that a perfect relationship, it's not that you'll never get angry or get upset with one another, but it's how quick you're able to resolve the issue and get things back to normal. Or as my spiritual mother used to say, get back on straight street. Those are the elements. And even still, the relationship is not perfect because you're going to make mistakes. You're going to hurt one another. You're going to disappoint one another because you're two imperfect people. And it's not you shouldn't have to worry about being perfect. You should be more concerned with being authentic and being real. And saying when you disagree with something or saying when you don't like something. 
and trusting that your relationship or your bond is strong enough to endure it. Which leads me to the last thing. The reason that you got to be thankful for the harsh lessons that life will undoubtedly teach you is because let me share some things with you in regards to my life. Because nobody can speak for me better than me. I have endured more than most people have had to endure. I've been broken. I've I've felt heartache. I've nearly lost myself dealing with tragedy, heartbreak, betrayal. The list goes on and on. But the thing about it is, in spite of the things that I've had to endure, the things that I've had to deal with that I never thought I would have to deal with, the losses I've taken, I mean, I couldn't even tell you how many L's I've taken. But the thing about it is, I'm still here. I'm still moving forward. And some days are not good. But yet I'm taking it one day at a time. And that's ultimately what you have to do when the hard when the hard lessons come, when the harsh lessons come, when the storms come. You got to be able to just take it one day at a time. But here's the thing. The reason that I choose to never forget the harsh lessons is because those harsh lessons in my life have helped me become the strong man that I am today. But even the strongest of us struggle. Even the strongest man, even the strongest woman does not want to be strong all the time. And if you have some people around you or if you have a mate beside you that can be strong in your time of temporary weakness who can be strong and won't tuck tail and run when you're having a period of weakness then I encourage you to never let them go because I've been on the receiving end of someone fleeing someone turning their back when I needed them the most so I wanted to share that with you. Be thankful for the harsh lessons because it's giving you the strength that you didn't know you had. If you got value from this, feel free to like, comment, share this video. Feel free to leave me a comment. As always in life, you have two choices. You can make moves or you can make excuses, but you most certainly cannot do both. It's yours truly, Arian Tyson, the moving motivator, and I will talk to you on the next one. Peace.